because I haven't been out to the theaters in, well, years, I finally managed to catch up with Doctor Strange 2, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. Greetings, Steve here, DCBFX. I want to talk quickly about this movie. Now, it wasn't my cup of tea. Now, the thing is, I'm a huge Doctor Strange fan. I love Doctor Strange 1. I like the character in, you know, Infinity War and Endgame, and he was okay in the Spider-Man, which I didn't really enjoy the Spider-Man No Way Home either. Um, I didn't like this movie for the main reason is it should have been called Scarlet Witch and the Multiverse of Madness guest starring Doctor Strange. Just, I didn't like the tone of the whole movie. I didn't like it at all. It just wasn't my cup of tea. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. You know, a lot of people love this movie and great. If you love it, fantastic. More power to you. I like the original. I didn't like this. At the time that this came out in the theater, there was a cool thing that came out if you're a Final Cut user like me. Um, it's a company called Motion VFX and they have a lot of very cool things. You've seen some things I've done before with, you know, the tracking, things like that. What I want to show you is, well, basically, with this new thing, it's called Multiverse, you can do this. Or you can do this. And that's pretty cool. But the best part about this is, it's free. It's a free download. You can go to Motion VFX, and in their listing of their apps, their or the, their plugins, they have some free sections, and this is still free. So you can do things like this. And it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to use. I do enjoy the Mandela's. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. But I'm not sure of anything else I'm going to use on a regular basis. Maybe, maybe this effect. But I don't know about that. It's not really the videos I do. That's not really what I do. So there is that. But it's a really cool set of free effects that you can use and you know it just it uh, I do believe it does require though the motion VFX main part for it I'll have to look at that and see if it does if it if it doesn't I'll put it right here I think it does require that it's just you have to have their main part to do it but this is something they've offered for free so if you're like me you like to play around with Final Cut like to make some cool effects this is kind of nice I do enjoy that and it you know free is always good because I like free so that's a quick video for today. I'm kind of going a little bit nuts because I'm, I'm working on a YouTube app so that I can sort of have it so you can look at my tricorder build videos just on an app. And I'm having problems with the Google API, the YouTube API. It's not working as it should. So I'm starting to figure that out. So I thought I'd take a break and do this video so that I have something I can show off for everyone because hey, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I just want to show that off so you can say, hey, this is something I'm going to check into. So that's the video for today. Hope everyone has a great day. Talk to you all later.